morning grade 3. How are you today? I hope you're all great. So for today's lesson, our subject will be Christian Living Education. But before we proceed in our lesson, let us have our opening prayer. Let us put our hands together and close your eyes and feel the presence of our Lord. Lord, we praise you and glorify your name. We ask that you will strengthen us, restore us, and inspire us with your love. Fill us with your Holy Spirit. May you bless our NCS parents, students, and faculty staffs. Thank you for your love and protection. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. So kids, our lesson for today is all about we feel proud of our national heroes. Again, we feel proud of our national heroes. By the way, kids, I will just send the video in our Google Classroom subject, Christian Living and Education. So the title of our Bible story is about women who save a nation. So I will just send that video in our Google Classroom and then just watch it later on. So let me summarize our story. Jabin, he is the king of Canaan who reigned in Hazor. While Sisera, he is the commander of his armies, who was based in Haroshet, Hagoyim. Sisera had 900 iron chariots. Sisera cruelly oppressed the Israelites for 20 years. Deborah, she is a prophet. She is a powerful and strong woman who listened to God. What does prophet means? Prophet means is someone who hears from God and shares it. Deborah sent a man named Barak to lead 10,000 men in place called Mount Tabor. Jael, she is the wife of Heber and also a tent owner. Jael gave some milk to Sisera. She covered Sisera with blanket. Jael killed Sisera with a peg and hammer. Now let me discuss thoughts to ponder. Any one of us can be a hero just like Deborah who saved a nation as we continue to do good to our fellow men and make happy and productive, we become heroes while we are still alive. So here in our, in our country, we have national hero. So we have here Dr. Jose Rizal. Dr. Jose Rizal, he was the first among the great heroes of Asia who fought against colonial powers. He was also being respected as the hero of the Malay race. So and for today, our Bible verse from the book of 2 Corinthians Chapter 3, verse 17. Now the Lord is the, is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Again, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Now, if you understood our story, let us answer the question in the book. So, it's answering time. Let's answer. We can do this on page 82. Here's the instruction. Underline the word inside the parentheses that would complete the following sentences. So, here's the first paragraph. When the Israelites did evil in the eyes of the Lord, he sold them into the hands of Javin, the king of Canaan. Sisera, the commander of the king's army, cruelly oppressed them for 20 years and the Israelites cried to God for help. Next paragraph. The Israelites went up to the leader and prophet. Who is that prophet? Deborah. The prophet then sent Barak to lead them 10,000 men to take the Canaanites to Mount Tabor. 
On that day, all the army of Sisera was destroyed, but he got down from his chariot and fled on foot. He fled to the tent of Jael, the wife of Heber. The wife of Heber welcomed him to tent. Next, she's, she gave him milk and covered him with blanket to let him sleep. But Jael killed him with a peg and a hammer while he was still sleeping. Next, let us answer page 84, letter C. Here's the instruction. <clears throat> Dr. Jose Rizal is our national hero. Paste a picture of him and answer the following questions. You can ask help from an adult. So that is the picture of Dr. Jose Rizal, our national hero. So here's the question. When was Dr. Jose Rizal born? He was born on June 19, 1861. Where was he born? Dr. Jose Rizal was, was born in Calamba, Laguna. Number three question, who were his parents? His parents are Francisco Mercado Rizal and the mother is Theodora Alonso Riolanda. And for the last question, what do you think are his best qualities, values, or skills that made him a hero? He is an open-minded, intelligent, and hard-working person. So kids, if you want to be a hero someday, you can help the people who are in need just like Deborah and Dr. Jose Rizal who saved his and her country. So now, for your assignment kids in CLE book, kindly answer, we can do this, page 83, letter D. Thank you for listening and watching grade 3. I hope you learned a lot today. Goodbye kids!